All right, in this video, we're gonna be solving some speed word problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, number one, what is the speed of a sailboat that is traveling 120 meters in 60 seconds? So using our triangle, we're looking for speed. So speed equals distance divided by time. All right, so we know that the sailboat traveled a distance of 120 meters and it took a time of 60 seconds. So we're gonna plug in speed equals distance divided by time. So the distance is 120 meters divided by the time of 60 seconds. So our zeros cancel out. We have 12 divided by six, that is two. And then our units are gonna be meters per second. All right, there will also be slides where you can see the typed version of the explanations in case you have trouble with the handwriting or just wanna see it typed up. All right, next one. What is the speed of a car that is traveling 150 miles in three hours? So again, we're solving for speed. So speed is gonna be equal to distance divided by time. We know that the distance that the car moved was 150 miles. And we know the time that it took was three hours. So we need to plug in speed equals distance, which was 150 miles, divided by time, which was three hours. So if you have 150 divided by three, well, 15 divided by three is five. Add that zero back in, it's 50 miles per hour. And then here's another explanation typed up. All right, next problem, a little bit different. So now the car is traveling 20 meters per second. So this would be a speed over 360 seconds. How far did the car travel? So we're looking for how far, how far is distance? So to solve for distance, we're gonna have to do speed times time. So we're gonna have to multiply the speed and the time. We know that the speed was 20 meters per second. And we know that the time was 360 seconds. So we have distance equals a speed of 20 times a time of 360. So if we do two times 36, that's gonna give us 72. Add our zeros back in, so we had two zeros. So it's gonna be 7,200, and then we were originally in meters per second, so it's gonna be meters. So 7,200 meters is the distance that the car traveled. All right, last one. So a car travels 5,000 meters. So we have a distance of 5,000 meters at a speed of 25 meters per second. How long was the journey? So how long we're looking for time. So we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. We know that the distance was 5,000 meters. We know that the speed was 25 meters per second. So we should have time equals the distance was 5,000 divided by the speed of 25. And remember, this was 5,000 meters and 25 meters per second. So if we do 50 divided by 25, we get 2. Add those zeros back in, we get 200. So the time it took was 200 and then seconds because these meters do cancel out. It leaves us with the units of seconds. So. The car um, took 200 seconds to complete this journey. All right, more practice problems will be following shortly. If you have a question, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.